I wanted to talk a little bit further about uh, what we mean when we say becoming information driven. This might be a new term to you. After all, most organizations have lately been talking about becoming data driven. But is data driven enough? We would say that data driven comes with data driven comes a couple of problems. Here's one of them. What's Warren's problem here? He says, I looked at the data and I'm going to eat like a six-year-old. Uh, the problem that he has is he's being data driven, so that's working, but the data is without the proper context. And that's the problem that many organizations face today, is that most of the efforts they've used to become data driven are really focused on structured data, numbers, and things of that nature. And the problem is when you do that, you're ignoring 80% of the information that's out there. You are doing that without context. And so we propose that you need to become information driven. So what is the challenge here? Well, it's tough to get information. It's tough to translate data into information. And so here we have a knowledge worker and he's looking for the kind of information that he needs to do his job and it's taking him time to accomplish that. He's writing information down. So you have to go through this process of searching, interpreting, contextualizing, and synthesizing all of that data to get to information. And we call the work that you have to do to make that happen cognitive burden. So our goal as an organization is to provide tools that enable you to reduce your cognitive burden. And how does that happen? Well, as I said, we've got data scattered all across the enterprise. Sean mentioned the many different data silos that they have. And the goal of what we're trying to accomplish is to be able to translate that data into actionable information. And there's a difference between the way organizations do that today and the information-driven enterprise of tomorrow. And the way we do it today, it's all human interpretation. It's all cognitive burden. It is the person sifting through that information, bringing it together, interpreting it, contextualizing it, et cetera. And with Cinequa's AI-powered search and analytics, our goal is to reduce that cognitive burden to a much smaller component of the information journey. How do we do that? We do that with four components in our platform. There are four capabilities that you need to have to be able to reduce that cognitive burden. You need to be able to have access to all the content within the enterprise. You need to be able to extract meaning from that information. You need to be able to learn from that over time and finally, to be able to present that as well. So I'm going to very quickly touch upon those four components and then show you how it all comes together in Cinequa's platform. So for content, you have to be able to bring in all of the content, regardless of the source system, regardless of the format, regardless of the location. And Cinequa comes with connectors to all enterprise systems. So you have access to bring all of that content together in one place. For meaning, we don't want to just be working with data, and we want to be working with unstructured text as well. And so you have to be able to extract meaning from that. That includes uh, working with taxonomies and entity detection, like uh, Sean was talking about with SciBite. You have to be able to understand the different parts of speech and synonyms and semantics and apply that to the appropriate taxonomy of your business as well as the topic that you are, are working in. The third of that is on learning. And so learning on unstructured content, that's what we do, which, which is AI powered. And there's a big difference between taking your raw content and running it through some kind of process to learn from it and get results because the machine doesn't understand the text and so it doesn't really know which words are important and which words aren't. With Cinequa, you can first run that unstructured content through our engine to extract meaning from that through the natural language processing, through the entity extraction, and the result is that you have now structured the unstructured data. You've also cleansed it and enriched it as well. So now 
when you apply your learning algorithms on it, you produce much better results because the signal to noise ratio is much higher than if you try to do that with the original source content on its own.